Hi, this is Jeffrey from my MTB guide and today we're looking at the Crank Brothers Shoe Shields. Protection of the outer sole isn't something that first comes to mind, but if you have carbon soled shoes, it really should. Shimano SPDs aren't that harsh on your soles, but other types of pedals are. For example, Crank Brothers egg beaters or time attack pedals. These use a bar style mechanism to clip in, but these bars rub against the soles of your shoes eventually causing some serious damage to your expensive carbon soles, or to a lesser extent regular shoes. And that's where the Crank Brothers shoe shields come into play. These shoe shields come in a very simple packaging with minimal but required information about the product. An image shows you how the shoe shields need to be installed, but it's pretty self-explanatory. In the package we find two shoe shields and that's it. There's no specific left or right shoe shield. I can be short about the specs of the Crank Brothers shoe shields because there isn't much to it. The shoe shields are made of stainless steel and are intended to be used with Crank Brothers pedals, but they do work with similar style pedals like the Time Attacks or the Look S Tracks. The shield should, accordingly to Crank Brothers, weigh 4 grams, but according to my skill it's 6 grams. And the shields are about 0.8 mm thick with a slight curve to follow the shape of your sole. Installing the shoe shields is really simple. Remove your current cleats, place the shields and reinstall your cleats. Note that you might want longer bolts for installing your cleats again since you add about a millimeter thickness because of the shoe shields. Something that's not directly clear is that your position on the bike slightly changes because of the shoe shields. The 0.8 millimeter thickness of the shoe shield decreases the distance to your pedals. To compensate for this you need to raise your saddle a bit. After using the Crank Brothers shoe shields for a few months, I'm quite satisfied. The shields are still in a great shape, but more importantly the soles are well protected. You can see where the pedals were rubbing against the shoe shields, but there aren't signs of the pedals digging into the shields. And in this case, the shoe shields perform as I would expect. However, the thickness can be an obstacle when clicking into your pedals. If you slide your shoe over the pedal to clip in, the bar of the pedal can catch on the edge of the shoe shield, making it difficult to clip in. Also, when using pedals with a larger contact area, you'll notice that the thickness of the shoe shield causes a small gap between the shoe and the pedal. Combine this with the steel on steel interaction between the shoe shields and the bars of the pedals, and you have a slippery feel when you're clipped in. This decreases over time, but it takes some time getting used to. My biggest issue with the Crank Brothers shoe shields is that I had to adjust my setup. My seat had to be raised a tiny amount and the position of my cleats needed slight adjustment. Finding the perfect setup again took a fair amount of time. Maybe that's not the case for you, but I'm quite particular about my setup. Looking at the overall performance of the Crank Brothers shoe shields, they do protect the sole of your shoe really well. The price of 10 euros for just two pieces of metal is an okay price to keep your expensive carbon soled shoes in a good condition and keeping a constant pedal engagement. If you have a bar styled pedal, like a Crank Brothers Egg Beater, Time Attack or Look S Track combined with carbon soles, then the Crank Brothers shoe shields are definitely something you'd want to look into. Thanks for watching my review of the Crank Brothers shoe shields. If you liked the video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't yet. My MTB guide brings you product reviews, how to's and track highlights, so if that's what you're into, definitely subscribe and you'll be notified when a new video goes online. Have a nice day, and I'll see you the next time.